Welcome to the UAccept training series. In this video, we'll be going over creating users, user groups, and policies. This feature allows you to group your employees so that you can easily manage their permissions on the POS and the web portal. You can easily assign employee permissions by placing them in groups and applying a policy to each group. For example, you may want supervisors to remove cash from the drawer when the cash amount exceeds $500, but not allow your employees to do so. First, we will design policies based on your types of employees. Then we will create user groups and apply your policies to those groups. Lastly, we will sort your users into your user groups. This will apply your policies to each user depending on which user group they are in. A policy is a set of permissions given to your employees to use the POS device's features. To create one, go to the System Management tab, select Users, and click User Policies. Here you'll see some policies that we have added by default to help you get started. You can use these default policies, or rename them. There are two types of policies. User policies determines employee permissions on the POS system. User web policies determines employee permissions on the web portal. Every user group you create is required to have one of each. Under user policies, click add or edit an existing policy. Enter a name for this policy and make sure the status field is set to active. Next, configure permissions for the different functions of the POS. Mouse over the title of each setting to learn the details of each function. For example, I'm going to create this policy to apply to my supervisors. I want them to be able to open and close the register, so I'll enable that setting. But I don't want them to have access to any of the device settings, so I'll leave those boxes unchecked. When you are finished editing these settings, remember to click Save. Continue to create policies as needed. Next, we'll create user web policies. You can edit an existing web policy or add a new one. Every user group needs to have a web policy, but if you don't need your employees to use the web portal, you can keep the login field set to no. Otherwise, set the login field to yes. The rest of your settings will appear. These are all the functions of the UXF web portal. As the administrator, you have permission to use all of these features. You can grant other users permission to use these features by applying this web policy to them. For example, if you want users under this policy to log into the web portal to manage your products, change the product management field from view only to add slash edit slash archive. Click save when you are finished editing. Now that we have our policies ready, we need to create our user groups. User groups allow you to apply user policies and user web policies to several employees at once. Go to the System Management tab and select Users. From the Users menu, select Users slash User Groups. On this page, you can see all your user groups and your employees. There are three default user groups, Employee, Probation, and Supervisor. These are based on how most businesses will sort their employees. Click Add or edit one of the default user groups. Edit the name for this group, which will usually be the type of employee. You can enter a description as well. If you already have users created, they will appear in this box, and you can add them to this new group now. If not, we can do that in the next step. The User Policies section is where you apply the policies you just made. Select the user policy and web policy you created for this user group. Make sure the status field is set to active, and click Save. Repeat this process for every group you need, and apply the policies that you made for each one. Once we finish that, all that's left to do is enter our employees and add them into their groups. On the users slash user groups page, go to the users section and click add. Enter your employees first name and last name. Add them to a group by selecting it from the drop down menu. Enter a username the employee will use to log into the system. And enter an email address for the user. The next option determines how the POS system's display is arranged for this user. By default, products will appear on the right, and the ticket will appear on the left. A left-handed user will probably prefer the products be placed on the left instead, so their hand doesn't block the ticket while ringing up products. You can change this based on your employee's preference. Enter and confirm a password the employee will use to log into the web portal. Enter a PIN for the employee to use to log into the POS device. Click Save. Repeat this process for all your employees. We've created policies and applied them to our groups, and we've put our employees into those groups. 
The policies we created will now be applied to our employees, giving you control over what your employees are allowed to do on the POS and the web portal. If you have any questions, feel free to contact our customer support team, who is here to help you seven days a week. Thank you for choosing UXEPT.